Welcome back, everyone, to the third episode of the Iran series. And last episode, we uh, did a number of things to try to get the economy up and running. And this series is going to be no different. Um, really want to get out of uh, the recession that we're in. So it went down a little bit. And... Honestly, I don't really want to rush it because that could backfire in the long run. So let's look at our inflation. Inflation is going down. We still need that to get down. 38.6% is still too high. Um, let's look at our unemployment. Unemployment is going up and... From what I'm seeing, the way this game is, uh, if you're in a recession, unemployment is going to go up regardless of, of what you do. But when you start to really come out of it, that's when it'll start to decrease. So with that in mind, Okay, I'm going to max these two out, and so we'll put that in place. So to really help us, um, Gonna have to put some policies in place that's really more geared to the people. So So we're gonna put that in place. So that's gonna be sixty six percent. Um, inheritance tax can drop that. Let's just make it the full six percent. Um, for the airlines, we're gonna drop that to sixty two. Five hundred and eight thousand. Actually, you know what? We can do a little bit more than that. So that should help with travel. Um, let's see what else we can do. All right, employee social security payments. So I'm going to drop that down by 0 0.2. Just want to raise that by six. And we're going to drop these down. There is something I'm missing here. So company turnover tax. Let's just look at. All right, let's just let's make that a solid uh, 2%. All 
time. So let's keep it at that. And tours entering the country. Says, yeah, we'll keep it at 12. And so highway tolls, we're just going to completely eliminate that for now. see what the higher rating is all right so we'll drop that down to 0 0.01 so all of these all of these things should help with the economy um so let's look at our farming industry. So beef is good. So we now produce coffee. That's good. What about potatoes? All right, so potatoes, we can... I'm gonna invest 150 million. That brings it up a little bit more. It is not everything that the country demands, but we're getting there. I don't want to do anything too drastic. So, nah, I'm not going to do any price cuts for now. All right, so sheep. Let's make that another 300 million. Let's see what that does. And corn. Corn is something that we've been low in, so... Let's do about 150 million in that. All right, so we're okay on that. Now, for industry, water networks. So, we're just going to add 100. The decree takes effect as of today. The decree takes effect as of today. Right. And so I'm a little worried about cybersecurity. So we're going to citizen awareness. Um, Uh, let's see, 2.4 billion, yeah, because if we get cyber attack, that's going to really cripple us. Our task force has coordinated Our best coders are working around the clock. All right. Now, let's go back to Secret Service and I'm going to max out national agents and cyber analysts.
So we'll meet with Iraq and So we're going to need some energy. So in this region, I'm going to going to build about 5 gas wells. Since we have none at all, so in the long run, this is going to pay out. Yeah, that's three. It's four and one more. The decree takes effect as of two. All right, so let's take a look, quick look at our finances. Um, let's take a look at our debt. It looks like our debt is starting to go up a little bit. So we have a 63.39, $63 billion surplus that we're going to be receiving. The decree takes effect as of All right, and let's go into housing now. So Let's, let's pause that the decree quick. takes effect as of two the decree takes effect as of two the decree takes effect as of two the decree takes effect as of today all right so let's see if we can do about 25 yeah we're gonna do about 25,000. Rehabilitate those homes there. And let's invest in health care for geriatric departments. And we're going to hire about 5,000 more workers. So that should help with our unemployment because right now we have 69,000 and we're setting the goal for 85,000. So that should help with unemployment. And we really need, so let's cut back with the grants and do literal literacy aids. Um, Teacher training. Uh, we don't want to spend that. Much on that. So correspondent courses. School equipment and material. We'll invest in that. The decree takes effect as of today. So we have an $83 billion surplus. That's good. My fellow. You're not bad yourself. Right, so let's negotiate Very well. this. What kind of offer do you wish to make us?
84, so we will bring that to 89. Very well. We accept your offer. Very Sure. All right, so let's look at our debt. Let's go to current totals. The decree takes effect as of today. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so we're in pretty good shape as far as improving the economy. Um, all right, it looks like we're going to be taking out a $4.4 billion loan. All right, so let's take a look at... Okay, so... Growth is starting to go up a little bit. Transportation. We're going to spend about $240 million for road maintenance. That should also help with, um, with growth. All right, so unemployment still is starting to go up a little. Um, let's see what else we can do. Not going to increase minimum wage. Um, that may prove to be counterproductive. We'll wait for... Uh, We'll wait till we get out of the recession to uh, start investing in that. So let's go to our industry and let's see, let's see what this is. All right, so let's see what our bottled water is. All right, clothing. So clothing. Let's invest about fifty million in that. Consumer electronics. Let's do about sixty million. All right, so fighter planes, we want to start doing that pretty soon. So I'm going to do a government takeover for that sector. And then we're going to spend about $150 million and get that up. So iron, we don't really need to be in complete control of that. And if we do this, it'll bring about $3 billion into our economy. So we'll go ahead with that. See, rare earth oxides, what we need is water supply network. So... We really need to get this up and going. So let's do about 150 million into that. All right, this is going to be one of those sectors, I think, we're not going to be able to produce that. So, so 
Let's take that back. And what about steel? All right, so we produce enough steel. So if we, so this is definitely going to help us. The decree takes effect as of today. The decree takes effect as of today. The decree takes effect as of today. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, the sh the preparations are complete. All right, so we're going to need some more research. Here is our guys. growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is an average figure. It reflects an economy with moderate dynamism. We could do better. Okay, so the economy is getting better. Um, it went up by about 2%. So... We're on the right track. Just got to keep it slow and steady. So... Let's go into research and so we already have two uh two centers being built so let's do about 10 laboratories That's increased that by a six thousand and energy environment and let's do industry. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and accept. So, at some point, want to build more uh, naval bases here. So let's see, what do we have? Six cruisers and 21 submarines, which they're not top of the line. So there's only a few countries we'll be able to get with with that low amount. So. The decree takes effect as of today. All right, so let's look at... All right, so it's still at negative 4.21. All right, so... So what we want to do now is build a few more schools. So we want to do higher education. We'll do N for that. Secondary education. 120. And primary education. We will do... Let's do about 34. Good morning! I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I wanted you to see in order to submit to you this economic contract, which, as you will see... Right, let's see what they have to offer. 
that's not going to put a dent in what we need. So I'm going to have to reject that. No thanks. My uh, so let's just end that meeting. The decree takes effect as of today. After privatizing this sector, it will be hard to say right away whether we will come out on top financially. Selling our shares was definitely a success and will provide money up front, but on the other hand, this was a very dynamic sector that let us bring in substantial profits each year. Hindsight will, of course, be 2020. All right, so let's look at, all right, so growth is starting to slow down a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to connect this to this city here because then it connects to, or it will connect to the uh, capital. So let's go ahead and so first of all, let's do some secondary highways. And we'll connect a road right to the city here. Because they have a high population. If we could have that done in six months, that'll be good. It's not too fast. And let's do one more star for road maintenance that should help us the decree takes effect as of today after privatizing this sector it will be hard to say right away whether we will come out on top financially selling our shares was definitely a success and will provide money up front but on the other hand this was a very dynamic sector that let us bring in substantial profits each year. Hi Due to the recent divestiture, the state is not left with much influence over the industrial sector. Obviously, this does not promote a great image, since some people might consider it an abandonment of our in All right, so let's see what we can do with the uh, industrial sector. So let's exonerate that. And let's do a hundred and fifty. So let's look at the workforce here. So, so helicopters, we're going to go ahead and nationalize that. And we're going to exonerate. 
Same thing I should really do with the uh, Jet Fighters. Sonnery, and now let's... Okay, yeah, we're... Start off with 200 here. All right, and household appliances. So we're going to exonerate that. And let's do a $200 million um, subsidy. And our plastic industry. So let's give them a subsidy of 100 million. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, The other thing that's going to help us with growth is, let's start with the, uh, oh, that's going to be too much money. Let's just make that about 64, so we'll spend that amount. And in Tehran, let's do it about ten percent. Let's look at all right, so we're gonna have to do a few more projects to um so let's look at these roads. Okay, our crime rate is going up, so let's invest in that. So drug task force, local police. And hired more police, so Now let's pop up education, pop up education, research, health, and administration. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization are still operational. Do you want to try to dismantle the operation? I uh, will hold out. The decree moment. takes effect as of today. Okay, so 
if you notice it was at 4.34 is back down to 4.24 so that's a good thing and i think i'm going to end this right now oh russia and sweden Oh, that's an all-out war going on. I didn't even notice it. Poland and Russia, Sweden and Russia, and Ukraine and Russia. All right, so this isn't going to be good for the region at all. Let's look at what's going on there. So that's been going on for 29 days. I didn't even notice it. Um, of course, we're going to stay out of that. Because um, we're, we're not strong enough to deal with the, uh, with NATO or Russia. So we're, we're staying completely out of that altogether. But in the meantime, um, thanks for all the support. Feel free to hit the like button and hit the bell so you can be notified of uh, any future uploads. And I'll try to uh, be a little more consistent since um, I don't have to work as much at my job now. So I'll be able to do a lot more videos. But in the meantime, again, thanks for your support and see you soon.